2023 Honda HRV Review Shooting Its Shot. Just one class below one of the most popular segments in the USA sits the subcompact crossover, populated by the likes of the Toyota Corolla Cross, Mazda CX-30, Hyundai Kona, and the Honda HRV. The template is simple, put a small car on stilts to give it some SUV swag and sports utility credibility, and watch the customers break down your door to get one, right? It hasn't always been that easy for the Honda HRV, and any review of the outgoing model will talk about how unrefined and slow it is, despite being supremely practical with its second row seats that flip up. The completely redesigned 2023 Honda HRV takes on its competitors with a larger body that looks nothing like the old one, riding on the independently sprung platform of the latest Civic, and fitted with a bigger 158 horsepower 2.0 liter engine. Will it cut the mustard this time? 2023 Honda HRV changes, what's the difference versus the 2022 HRV? The 2023 HRV is a brand new car, carrying over nothing from last year's CRV. The old one was built on the same platform as the Honda Fit that we last saw in 2020, and it shared that car's space saving torsion beam rear suspension and the flip up rear magic seat that this layout made possible. The new Honda CRV crossover sits on the Civic platform and has independent rear suspension and a more powerful engine to improve the driving experience. It's also bigger and has a more grown-up look than before, with an MSRP starting at $23,800. What's the price of the 2023 Honda HRV? The price of the 2023 Honda HRV starts at an MSRP of $23,800 for the cheapest LX model, excluding a $1,295 destination charge. The mid-range sport will cost you $25,900 and the price of the flagship EXL is $27,900. Adding the AWD setup will increase these prices by $1,500 across trims. 2023 Honda HRV Handling and Driving Impressions The previous HRV didn't set a terribly high bar and was often slated for its lack of sophistication. Running on the fit platform meant torsion beam rear suspension and a certain lack of polish. It was fleet-footed up to a point, but was underdamped and had a jittery ride on less-than-perfect surfaces. The new one rides on the lauded Civic platform, and compared to what's gone before, it's a revelation. The Civic jeans shine through and the new HRV delivers a pliant, well-damped ride that easily matches that of the Corolla Cross, but with appreciably better handling than the Toyota. It never unravels into an untidy mess, and although there isn't much steering feedback, it's precise and won't roll excessively when the road gets curvy. Double the shame, then, that the powertrain is just as bad as before. Bigger and more powerful the engine may be, but it hardly offsets the extra mass, the HRV is slow, with a frustrating lack of passing and hill climbing power. It's all the worse for the whiny CVT that sends the revs soaring in an effort to extract meaningful impetus from an underpowered package. Verdict, is the 2023 Honda HRV a good SUV? Had Honda given us the 1.5-liter turbocharged engine from the Civic, the result might have been quite different, but as things stand, the brand new HRVS powertrain spoils the package. It has all the ingredients to be a class leader, with a roomy and comfortable cabin complemented by user-friendly controls, solid construction, and deft, enjoyable handling but it falls apart when your right foot requests forward progress. It is just as underpowered as before, and the CVT still drones away depressingly in an effort to redress the imbalance. The loss of the rear magic seat doesn't help at all and keeps the new HRV several notches down the subcompact crossover pecking order. It's a shame, for it's otherwise a very good effort. What 2023 Honda HRV model should I buy? Starting under $25,000, the Honda HRV base trim's price is not even $700 higher than the previous Gen LX, and it's the best value for money in the range. The Sport arguably makes the most sense among the Honda HRV models, and stands out more in a parking lot while adding a few desirable features such as heated front seats, remote start, and an upgraded audio system. The highest price belongs to the Honda HRV EXL and its leather upholstery, upgraded infotainment system, moonroof, and parking sensors really set it apart, 
making it the only trim that lacks none of the must-haves in the crossover class. However, its price encroaches on the class above and performance specs across the Honda HRV range are the same, you can get a base Kia Sportage or Hyundai Tucson with more power for less than that, even if they're down of features, making the Sport the most sensible HRV. 2023 HRV Exterior The fairly minimalist new body lacks the sweep increases, coupe-like hidden rear door handles, and joyful exuberance of the old HRV but it's more grown-up and classy, with a front end clearly related to the stylish new Civic. It's more sober in profile, with a bigger and more horizontal glasshouse replacing the wedgy old one. While a certain measure of distinctiveness is gone, its more serious countenance makes it look like a product from a class above and should meet with the approval of most onlookers. All trims are fitted with LEDs for headlights and brake lights, and body-colored door handles and side mirrors are standard. The Sport gets black 18-inch alloys, a sport grille, gloss black mirror caps, and a chrome exhaust tip, but other than that, not much else was done to give it a sportier appearance, it has the same front and rear bumper treatment as the other trims. The LX and EXL run on 17-inch wheels. The Sport and EXL have rear privacy glass, but the EXL is the only trim with a standard power moonroof. Dimensions the dimensions of the Honda HRV have noticeably increased compared to the old model, and it's bigger all around. Length is up by more than 9 inches to 179.8 inches, for example, but a lot of that has gone into the overhangs because the 104.5 inch wheelbase is only 1.7 inches longer. Its width is 72.4 inches without the mirrors and both the LX and EXL have a height of 63.4 inches, the Sport is a smidge higher off the ground at 63.8 inches thanks to its bigger wheels, which also gives it a 7.3 inch ground clearance, compared to the other trim's 7 inches. Weight is up by more than 250 pounds on the base trim, which now weighs in at 3,159 pounds in FWD guys and 3,276 pounds with AWD about what we expected, given the size increase. The FWD slash AWD weights for the Sport are 3,197 pounds per 3,311 pounds, and for the EXL, 3,219 pounds per 3,333 pounds, respectively. 2023 HRV Interior the interior of the Honda HRV takes a leaf from the Civic's playbook and adopts the same chrome-accented horizontal honeycomb mesh strip across the dashboard that incorporates the air vents, with a large landscape-style infotainment screen above it. It's more integrated and uniform, and gone are the mishmash of differently shaped air vents and the long reach to the infotainment screen. It's a lot more upmarket inside and looks modern and contemporary. The quality of materials is beyond reproach and the controls fall easily to hand. Honda has successfully transferred everything that makes the Civic dashboard great to the HRV, quality materials and solid construction included. Seating and interior space. The front seats in the Honda HRV have very firm padding that can seem stiff and uncomfortable at first, and this is definitely a case of try before you buy, so try to go for an extended test drive. General support is good, although lumbar support is lacking somewhat and the firmness will bother some people more than others. The stiff cushions are somewhat offset by the good ride quality. The rear seats actually feel softer and more inviting by comparison. Access is easy through big doors, and because of the large glasshouse, outward visibility is very good a refreshing trait in a world where style often takes precedence over function and some crossovers present you with a letterbox rear screen to peer through. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.